when I um, was asked to be the inaugural writer in residence here, I thought, well, of course, you know, I'm a half Lebanese <laughs> lesbian feminist. Of, of, of course they're going to ask me to be the first Mordecai writer in residence. But I have to say that I've, um, I feel a... Well, I won't get into that right now. Oh, the... Jewish lesbian daughters of Holocaust survivors. Okay, I just found something that I, I, I don't think we should show you. We might have to get to it later. But I, and I, I'm not sure where I would situate myself on the continuum of, uh, well, listen, you know, I'm sure he got Playboy for the articles. And in fact, he wrote one, which I will read because I would only ever read it for the articles as well, especially, you know, Playboy 1994. Because I want to know what Mordecai made of Woody Allen. If we allow that evolution is a continuing process, as witness the astonishing percentile leap of genital-shaped female navels, encouraged not only by modern photographers but novelists as well, and then take into account the contemporary novelist's propensity for describing fellatio, it seems possible that the labia, compensating, will eventually emerge as a mouth mimic. One day, women, like egg timers, will be the same right side up as upside down. Some of it is kind of funny. <laughs>